comes to find out that his true love is Esperanza, all right? And, you know, they hug it out, you know, bro stuff and everything, and they go on and live their life, all right? Master Chief and Esperanza. So it's a beautiful love story in that concept is that Master Chief is finally coming out and he's relaying his, you know, his homosexual desires with Esperanza. I think that's great. I think that's right, right in line with the audience. I'm sure many, many probably Xbox players cried when they discovered that. What the fuck just happened? What did I watch? Ah, this is going to be fun. So guys, my name is Derek. Welcome to the channel. The clip you just saw was from a user called The Amazing... Fucking Lloyd? Lucas. The ama what? Where did I get fucking Lloyd from? The Amazing Lucas, I believe. And uh, the video is called Halo Infinite is a Great Xbox Game. Now, before we get started, please do not go after this guy. I know his channel was way better than ours, and I shouldn't be picking at him, but uh, whenever you put stupid things on the internet, uh, I kind of want to talk about it. Every chance I get, even though this shit I put out is kind of stupid to begin with. But his name is The Amazing Lucas, and I watched this video, and again, I'm not going to put very many clips in this video. Just mainly the beginning of the video is just going to have a clip. Uh, the, the one I thought was the funniest one. Um, I don't know if this guy is serious or not. I, I can't tell. I, I assume he is. Um, he's a straight-up Sony pony. I don't know if you guys know this, but back in the day... There used to be something called System Wars. It's where uh, you pick your favorite system, your favorite company, like PlayStation, Nintendo, Microsoft, PC, and you fight over which one is better and why. Which, you know, I used to be a part of that. I know, I know. Back in the day, I was purely an Xbox fanboy. Now, I just play everything. Games are fun to me, so I want to play as many games as I want from any system I can, and I kind of do that, but it, it this video, watching this video kind of took me back to that time when that was truly alive, and like I said, it's probably still exists, but I don't really pay much attention to it, outside of the stuff that the Dreamcast guy talks about, which he's kind of a Sony pony too, and I guess if I had to say on anything, I guess I'm a Xbox fanboy, which is probably why this video kind of pissed me off a little bit. So, Halo Infinite just came out uh, last year. I think it was December. It's not been that long. Um, and, you know, I played through it. I played through the whole campaign. I said I was going to stream it, but I never did. I played through the campaign. I played a lot of the multiplayer, and I really enjoyed it. It actually feels like Halo for the first time in forever. And... You know, I enjoy every moment of it. You know, I, I still go back and I, and I play between PC and Xbox Series X. So I like how you have that cross functionality uh, where I can have my save on both systems, you know, just jump right where I was. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I love the story. I, you know, I'm a Halo nerd. So when you attack Halo, you're kind of attacking me just a little bit because, you know, I, I, I'm a Halo boy. That's what I do. And this is cringy, by the way. All my videos are cringy. I can't help it. But this guy had some great stuff in his video. Basically, a lot of it was him tearing down Xbox players, which he'd like... In the clip we shown at the beginning of the video, he said that Master Chief was a homosexual... And this was a homosexual love story. And Xbox players should be used to that. Or getting fucked in the ass by Microsoft, pretty much. And it's in the video. He, he kind of alludes to that. And he, he talks about the PlayStation as if so this is like high edge. Which the high, PlayStation does have some great games. But, and I'll go ahead and tell you this. A lot of PlayStation games is a lot of just watching shit not enough playing, just watching. You know, you play a little bit, then there's a 10-hour cutscene, and then you play a little bit, 10-hour cutscene. That's over-exaggerated, but that kind of is the case. And this guy is probably one of those guys that really, really loved The Last of Us Part Two, which fucked that game. And it's ass. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, I played through it. I kind of liked... I, I liked some of it, but I hated it because it's a sequel that 
doesn't need to exist at all. It's a pointless sequel. But, you know, we're not talking about Last of Us 2. But this guy basically mocks people that play the Xbox and like Halo. And is this really funny? Like, how can you actually get on the internet? <laughs> and I do stupid shit on the internet, too. Like this video. I don't know how, as a grown man... God damn, this is awful. Because I'm guilty of all this shit. God. What is my deal? <laughs> I, I don't understand system wars anymore, basically, what I'm getting to. I don't understand it anymore, like... Back in the day, I was all about it, and now I just don't care. And, you know, I don't think you should care to begin with. I don't care, like, you're paying allegiance to a billion-dollar company that just wants your money. So I, I don't really understand. Like, why don't you just play games and play games? Instead of being a douchebag like this guy and making fun of people that play the Xbox and the PC and whatever and puts, you know, PlayStation on this high echelon, high top table, what's the word I'm fucking getting? Uh, pylon? Pedestal. That's the word. That's the word. Puts it up in this giant pedestal, which, here's the thing, PlayStation has some great games. I'm not gonna lie. Some great games. But so does Xbox. So does Xbox. And the Halo Infinite happens to be one. Last year, there wasn't really a huge amount of PlayStation exclusives, aside from Ratchet and Clank and Eternal. I don't think there was really anything else. I mean, this year we might have a few, but last year we didn't really have anything I was into. And I, I played Returnal a little bit, and Deathloop. I forgot about Deathloop. I, I need to finish Deathloop. I do. I need to finish Deathloop. But... You know, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X has been over, been out for a year now, a little over a year. And, it's, you know, we're just now starting to get titles within that system uh, that take advantage of the system. And I just don't see, like, I don't see the point of, <laughs> you know, tying yourself to one system. Now, I understand if you don't have the money to go out and buy systems. And you're just like, oh, I want to just pick this one and it's better. And every system has, you know, its strengths and weaknesses. And, you know, the Xbox has quite a good stuff going for it now. It turns, turns itself around since the Xbox One. But this guy keeps on saying stuff like, you know, it's a gay love story. It's uh, biggest mechanic is a grapple hook. And he says something along the lines of, 2015 called and they want their uh, gameplay mechanic back what is wrong with having the grapple hook i mean they put that in there yes it's actually pretty awesome for a halo game you know there's a lot of games that came out recently that allows you to use a grappling hook doom being one of them we actually streamed doom i think it was doom eternal had it um but i think the grappling hook's a pretty cool thing i mean i you know the, the halo infinite multiplayer you know not multiplayer but single player is open world which is new kind of kind of new i mean there's some openness in some of the levels of the original halo games uh especially like the silent cartographer mission and i love halo guys i'm sorry i love i'm a fanboy for halo and there's some openness to that and that's what i liked about halo infinite is because it made me feel like i was playing an extension of the silent cartographer and it was great it's a great great so it's not perfect it's no it's not fucking perfect at all actually like I, i'll call out anybody that says it is perfect because it's not it's not it's got flaws every game's got flaws he's in last last of us too got a lot of flaws last of us too a lot of flaws it's let me go ahead and say this the Last of Us 2 is a piece of shit. Okay. Right. Okay? Okay. Okay. Done clear now. I, I know I'm going to get a lot of angry people. It's going to be like, shouldn't talk about Last of Us 2 that way. Shouldn't do that. It's bad. It's really bad. You shouldn't do it. I'm going to. I'm going to. Actually, you know, I think it's funny because I left a group because of The Last of Us 2. Because I had an opinion. And kind of laughed at it and you know i might have took it the wrong way 
But I know what happens when you talk about The Last of Us 2 on the internet. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to do that. And I don't know how this went from The Amazing Lucas to The Last of Us 2, but we're going there. Because this is this is one of those guys that's probably, like, it has got the tattoo of The Last of Us 2, like, Abby right on his arm. And is it Neil Druckmann? Like, has an autographed picture of Neil Druckmann. I think that's his name. Like, hanging on his wall and, you know has candles under it and his playstations right there has this disc for the last of us Two just sitting there on a pedestal you know just kissing its ass and shoving it up his ass like this is one of those guys and he, you know he keeps on saying that the xbox doesn't have any games but the playstation i mean it's true if you take a look at playstation exclusives a lot of it is you have a little bit of gameplay and a lot more of you know more of a movie it's it's true it's it's not a fucking lie you just play any playstation exclusive in the last 10 years and it's like that there's only a few but it's really not i mean god of war i love god of war and i love the uncharted series i love the first last of us but you can't tell me like and this is a guy that played through all the metal gear games all of them except for survive fuck that game um so I know, I know, I know how it is. And plus those are kind of, they was kind of PlayStation exclusive. Metal Gear Solid 4 is a PlayStation exclusive. And that game, you talk about cutscenes. Fucking A. I love that game. But a lot of games on the PlayStation are like that. They follow this same type of uh, structure. And this guy is like praising the PlayStation and basically making fun of Xbox players or fanboys. For liking Halo. And he, you know, he's talking about the story. He, apparently he's never played a Halo game. And I'm pretty sure he says that in the actual video. You know, I, I don't want to go back and rewatch it. But, you know, he's talking about how it doesn't make sense. And how it doesn't explain anything to you. Like, and it does. It actually does. There's a lot of explanation in the game. And actually, the beginning of it, you know, if you pay attention to the cutscenes that are in the game. Which there's a few. Uh, there's also audio logs, there's all kinds of stuff. And, like, the story storytelling in this game is in the environment. Uh, kind of similar to how, you know, some games like Bioshock, you know, it just, it didn't put it out there right for you to see it. You know, you would see what happens in the environment, uh, like I said, either an audio log or, in some cases, there's some artifacts on the Halo ring. Um... And just some of the stuff that's actually said within the game itself. And this guy basically mocks it. He's talking about Cortana and the weapon and Esparza and how it's a love triangle and how he doesn't know anything about these characters. Why is there a blue chick? Why are the monsters monsters? And so he calls them monsters. He says, well, what's the guys? Uh, the, the Banshees. That's what they're called. The Banshees. That's not the fucking name. It's not the name. It's not the name at all. Fuck off. Anyways, sorry, sorry, sorry. I really appreciate. I really, I really need to slow down. I need to slow down. And this is really cringy. I know. I know these videos are cringy. I can't help it. But I try to get you know. I try to get these things out like the best I can and the best way. Cause you know I have. I'm fucking scared. <laughs> like when I make videos anymore, I don't know why. I'm just like nervous and everything, and this is probably pretty bad. <sighs> Fuck me, I'm retarded. But anyways, yeah, this guy, the amazing Lucas. If you guys want a good laugh, check out that video. I'll put a link of it in the description. You know, check it out. Get a laugh. Um, don't be that guy. Don't be that fucking guy, please. And amazing Lucas. Quit being a bitch, please. Quit being a, could just quit being a bitch. It's that easy. I mean, it's pretty easy. You just don't be a bitch.